All right, y'all, welcome to part four of Pong. Part four, what we're going to be doing is adding up a procedure called speed up ball. That way, as we play our game, it goes faster. So I'm going to walk you guys through that. Go ahead and go to procedures over here. And there's two procedures with procedure to do and to and result. We don't need the result one. Um, sometimes this one gets selected accidentally. So you want to make sure that you select this top one here. And we're going to name our procedure speed up ball altogether, no spaces. I think on this new version, if you do put a space, it puts a little underscore. So you don't have to worry about that, but just for reference, no spaces. Okay, so we are going to go to the control here. And you want to go to if then grab this if then block so we're going to basically evaluate the score so we want to go to math and we're going to get this block the second one here that has the equal sign and we're going to change the equal sign to the greater than sign and you want to find where your variable is that we set up for initial score and you want to get the or grab the get global score block okay and I'm kinda of moving around here let me show you guys something if you right click with your mouse you can collapse blocks that'll collapse all the blocks so it's a little easier to move them around you can also do stuff like arrange them horizontally or vertically sort the blocks by category Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and expand this block, our speed up ball procedure here. Alright, so if the global score is greater than, and I'm going to set the number to 5, so if our global score is greater than 5, what I want it to do is change the ball speed. So we're going to go to ball one. And once this opens, I'm going to find the block that says set ball one speed to. I'm sure it's going to open eventually here. Let's see what's going on. All right. So set ball one dot speed to, and we're going to go to math. We'll get the plus sign. So we're going to get the ball one's current speed. And I'm going to add, remember this is in pixels that it's moving. I'm going to add a value of 1 to start out with. All right. So our procedure, just to review, okay, if the score is greater than 5, then the ball's speed will be set to whatever the current speed is plus 1. If we go back to our designer, we set the speed at 5. Um, so it'll go to 6 every time it's greater than 5. Um, we are going to have this reoccur within our game. So what we're going to do is copy this block. So you just want to select the brown block, the if then block, press control C, and then press control V like Valentine. And you want to change up the values. So we'll say if it's greater than 10, then every time it's greater than 10 we're going to take its current speed and we're going to add 5 pixels to it and we'll do it again copy and paste the if then block if the score is greater than 15 then we'll take whatever the current speed is and we'll add 10 pixels to it let's copy the if then block again and 
we'll set it up to 25 or 20. So if the score is greater than 20, then we'll increase the current speed. We'll add 15. And we'll do it one more time. So let's copy if then. And we'll put it at 25. And we'll put this at 20. Now, in order for this to work, you have to have the procedure called. So we need to add that. So we'll grab the call up call speed up procedure block. And we're going to add it um, to our ball one collide with block. So I'm going to expand that block here. So every time the ball touches the paddle, I'm going to call the procedure to happen. Okay. And you could also set it up, which I'm going to do, on the start block. So let's go to the start block here. Got to find it. I'm going to arrange my blocks here. All right, here's the start block. I'm going to expand it. And I'm going to actually go back to the designer. We're not going to be using the reset button, so I'm just going to go ahead and delete it. We're just going to have the start button. All right. So what I want you to do now that you have all that set up You've got your speed up ball procedure. We have it occurring first when it gets above 5, when the score gets above 5, and then above 10, 15, 20. If you feel like adjusting it as you play the game, that's fine. You can always do that. Uh, you just want to show me when you're done. Uh, something else to think about is can you change another element in the game? We've got the size of the ball. So you could also set up another procedure for the ball size. So if you went, instead of setting the ball speed to, you could set the ball's radius to a certain size. So as you adjusted, or as the score got higher, you could set the ball's radius to become smaller. So you would use a subtraction sign. Something to think about and challenge yourself with if you finish up with the ball speed and part four. All right. Once you have that done, go ahead and show me, and you are finished with part four.